So in this video, we will be unboxing the Blink Video Doorbell. With the Sync Module 2, this is gonna be wired and wireless. It has a field of view of 135 degrees with the 80 degree vertical view. It records in 1080p and it has infrared HD night vision. The photo resolution is gonna be 640 by 360. Camera frame rate is up to 30 FPS. The size is super small, the weight is really light. One of the things that we are excited to show you is the new slim profile on the Blinks and how easy they are to set up. Let's take a look, let's open it up now. So, this is brand new, we have never unboxed it, so we're gonna be showcasing what it looks like all around. So this is the all around view of what you get inside the box. It pretty much describes exactly what you're gonna be getting and how it's gonna do it. It includes a Sync Module 2, and that Sync Module 2 is where you're gonna be externally storing the fee that you're gonna be uh, monitoring with your video doorbell. And I think that's the reason why the Blink can be so slim, is because the Sync Module 2 is separate. So, here is the box. They give you a little arrow here to let you know where to open it, and... Ooh. And here it is. This is what you get inside. You're gonna be getting your your doorbell. You're gonna be getting your sync module. And right here, you're gonna see your feature of this. What is the new update? It is that this is gonna be wired or wireless. And it uses batteries like that. So how long will regular batteries last you? They will last you up to two years of battery life. So we're gonna take out everything outside of the box so let's take out everything outside of the box first you have your doorbell and you have your back cover so this will be your back cover this is what you'll be um, installing into your wall or into your door frame to hold your or house your video doorbell also here you have your sync module so this is along the same lines what you would use with your other blink cameras like your blink outdoors and we also have things like the blank minutes, right? So all these, the sync module is an external storage device. What, how you use it is that you're gonna be plugging it in. It's gonna connect and this is also gonna record using a USB. We're gonna be removing our mounting screws. Here is your wall frame mount. If you wanna angle it, it give you batteries that you're gonna be using. And these batteries are potentially two years of battery life on your video doorbell. What affects the the uh, what will affect your potential battery life is going to be the sensitivity levels. So if your doorbell is continually recording, it will reduce the battery life per se. So here is our Blink Video Doorbell. We're going to be inserting it right here, uh, right now. So let's pop it in. Put in your first battery, and we put in our second battery. And that's it. This is pretty much ready to go. You can see it's already in the pairing mode. The great thing about wireless is that I don't need anything. I don't need to plug in any, I don't need to uh, route my doorbell wires and make sure there are a certain voltage to connect to this. I don't need to recharge this. What I'm gonna be doing, well, I will need to recharge it or replace the battery when, they, when the battery is low, but that could be like six months, two years later. So 2.8 pounds. So otherwise four and, a, four, four and a half ounces, that's including the back cover. Or we're gonna show you how to mount it and how slim the profile is. So step number one is to make sure you connect your sync module to your Blink um, app, and then you're gonna add in your Blink video doorbell separately. You're gonna be connecting both of them separately in the Blink app. Now the Blink app is gonna walk you through all the physical instructions of how to set it up. And once you are connected, it's gonna notify you that you are connected. So here it says updating and boom, we have added our Blink video doorbell and we are gonna be moving on to the next step, which is to set it up physically on our door frame or wherever I wanna place it. So I'm gonna be placing mine on the front door and I'm just gonna walk you through all these steps. It's like, do you wanna use the wedge or the corner? Do you want to uh, make sure that you drill holes using the template, screw in the back cover to the door frame and just clip in your Blink video doorbell and inst installation will be complete. So here you see I have mounted in the back cover. There's just enough space for this. I didn't have enough space for the UFI with the video uh, battery set, but it has just enough space for this. Now, just to give you a cross-sectional view, I'm gonna be going up close and you can see exactly where we're gonna place it. You just insert it in and you push 
downward. So pop it in and push downward to set it. And remember, you can't just pop it off because you, you need the key to remove it. So here is what it looks like and here is what it looks like with the door closed. You'll notice right off the bat the difference in size. The blink is much slimmer, much slimmer. We'll show you. I mean, much slimmer. You can see automatically the difference in size. If you want to compare this to the previous generation ring, I'll show you. Look at the size difference. Look at the size difference. Between the blink and the ring, I mean, it looks like... <laughs> I mean, this one just looks a little bit more modern and it's like half the size, right? Just like that. So I already made my first hole here. And we can just set that in. I always like to use a template in this fashion because you set it up, you can mark it, and now I can make sure, first I can make sure it's on the level, and I can make sure that I like where exactly where it's located. Perfect. So now that we have our plate installed, we're gonna add in this, which is our video doorbell. This is super straightforward. Just pop it on. So we've inserted it, so you insert it, and remember, if you push it in and then you're going to push downward, downward to lock it in. Now it is locked in. You guys see this? It is locked in. So if you're wondering, how do you remove your blink camera in case you ever wanted to change the batteries? Well, I'm going to show you how right here. So on the bottom of this, in the box, you're going to be getting a key that looks like this. So you take that key, I'm just going to remove it. And you want to make sure you keep this because it's not. this is a little bit different than the key that come with the Ufis or other cameras. You're going to be inserting your key into the bottom as such. And I'll show you where. So right there on the bottom, you see where you can insert your key. You're going to be inserting that key right there. And you just push in. And boom. That's how you remove it. And now we've taken it out. Now let's check the video quality. This is 1080p. So here you can see I'm showing you what it looks like on the phone. And this is what it looks like on the camera. You're going to be getting this on your USB on the sync module too. And we're going to give you some a little more close up. And here it is on the phone. And you can see what I'm seeing. So you can see what you're seeing. And this is what the camera is seeing. So you can see exactly what you're going to be recording.